Hi, this is Lana from Hopping In and welcome to the second part of our guide on how to start a daycare center. Finding funding and calculating expenses is the crucial part of turning your daycare dream to reality. That's why we've prepared a guide that will help you nail funding and get to earning. How do you get the money? That's the question of all questions and the key to achieving your potential. If you have the money, the best route is to privately fund your daycare. However, things may not be that simple, but that's no reason to give up on your dream. Other daycare funding options you can consider are Bank loan If you have another business that's successful, then the bank might may give you a loan. However, they will base the loan only on what your existing business takes in, and not on your projections of daycare success. Second option is investors. Going into business with partners can be a win-win, but be careful if you're going into business with family or friends. If you have no other choice, make sure you have strong paperwork in place to avoid confrontations. Ideally, you want to find passive partners so you can manage the daycare center and the other partners get a share of profits. For example, the investors give you cash up front and you pay them back in a 50-50 split. This means that if your daycare makes 200,000 a year, the investor will get 100,000. If there are two, each will get 50,000 annually for their upfront funding. Third option is Small Business Administration or SBA loans. This is a great option if you want to purchase an already open business. You typically put down 20% for the business and you get an SBA loan. The requirements for getting an SBA loan are good credit, financial ability to pay back the loan or solvency, 20% down payment, and a sound daycare business plan. You can also negotiate free months with your landlord. One negotiation tactic is to just explain that it takes a long time to open a daycare, so you need several months free. You can also try to get your landlord to invest on your behalf by financing build-outs, fire alarms and room modifications. You may agree to a 5-year lease in return for up to 100,000 in build-outs paid for by the landlord or you can ask for help in the build-out and add it to the lease. For example, you want 120,000 of the build-out and if the landlord provides that, you'll add on extra 2,000 per month over 60 months, which is a 5-year lease. The goal here is to avoid upfront demand for your cash. Other people's money is good luck in the business world and it's much easier to do business when you've reduced your upfront costs. Financial projections are your roadmap to success and the most important questions are How much income am I projecting? How much are rent, labor, food and supplies? How much do I project losing each month, pre-opening and post-opening? How am I going to pay back my initial startup costs once I start earning? It's also always good to add 20% to your expense estimates because something can pop up and this gives you more breathing room. To make calculations easier for you, we've prepared a sophisticated Excel sheet that lets you calculate all the ins and outs of your daycare center income and expenses. You can get it on hoppingin.com or by clicking on the link in the description. Making projections for the future will help you know what to expect. Don't get discouraged, just dig right in and see if your plan needs any changing based on projections. When it comes to construction expenses, list everything. They can include everything that you need to get your daycare up and running, so make sure you factor in the cost of demolition, rough plumbing, counter and shelving installation, architectural work, permits, non-opening losses, and everything else. To be able to calculate them, get a few estimates to see what you're working with and tally every detail. Other general expenses can include furniture, legal paperwork, cleaning supplies, computers, and much more. 
When making the rest of your projections, project your growth rate too. How much will your enrollment go up monthly? How much will your income go up monthly? And don't forget to factor in staffing here too, to meet student-to-teacher ratio requirements. It's important to thoroughly plan out your daycare's future, and this means doing the dirty work with calculating broken laundry machine expenses too. However, this is where you get to leave your daycare's cost behind as you start earning money. Opening a daycare isn't as quick and easy as most people think. But with the right projections and a can-do attitude, your profit will be growing unstoppably. And now that your daycare's future is bright, it's time to take care of the paperwork. In the next part of our guide, we'll learn our way around red tape and zoning, so make sure you stay tuned and subscribe to Hopping In. For more helpful advice, you can also check out our blog on hoppingin.com. Thank you for watching and see you in part 3.